Hi, I'm Neil Bordock from Charles David Casson Estate and Letting Agents based here in Chelmsford. And uh, this is the second part in a series of short videos I'm doing to uh, educate landlords on the, um, the recent legislation changes uh, that have happened over the past 12 months, uh, particularly the back end of 2015 and coming into the early part of 2016. Um, very important uh, is that when you're taking a deposit from a tenant, that, that is probably uh, registered in one of the three approved schemes uh, that's the TDS, My Deposits or DPS Deposit Protection Service. Uh, some of these are insurance backed schemes, some of them are custodial schemes. Uh, doesn't matter which one you use uh, as long as you are doing it. But uh, not only that, there's certain documentation that has to go alongside that. So uh, when you receive the deposit it must be protected and at the same time uh, within 30 days you must ensure you've served them with the certificates, uh, proof of registration and the prescribed information to the tenant and that's very important as a document that uh, explains to the tenant where their deposit is, who you've, uh, who you've registered it with and how it's protected and what, they, what the procedures are um, for handling the deposits. Um, of note is that it's not just the prescribed information, you must also serve the terms and conditions of that deposit scheme. Uh, and unless you've done both of those things, then uh, the deposit is not deemed to have been properly protected. Um, so also, it has implications on um, gaining possession of your property, which uh, will be my next video to do with section 21 um, and some other documents that, that must be served to make that compliant. Uh, but it's particularly important to make sure you're compliant with the deposit legislation because if you're found not to be, uh, there's two major consequences. One is a potential fine of three and a half times the value of the deposit, um, which you have certainly around here um, with average rents of circa eight fifty nine hundred pounds uh, the average deposit is one and a half times a month's rent three and a half times that you're looking at a substantial sum of money to be fined if you're not compliant um, so yeah, make sure you do that if you're not sure how to do that or where you should be uh, doing that then uh, please get in touch with me and I'll, I'll happily advise you on that um, but it's also important because you unless you've properly protected the deposit, you won't be able to serve a valid Section 21 notice, which is uh, the prescribed form for uh, obtaining possession of your property under an assured shorthold tenancy. Um, so I'll cover that in, uh, in a little bit more detail in my next video. Thanks for listening.